Not really dealt with. Was that a handball? It's 2-1 Scarborough. Scarborough have taken the lead again. The two teams coming out. Scarborough yet again in their red shirt, shorts and socks. File in their traditional white shirt, white shorts, uh, white socks. And they've got a really good away, away kits as well. Which probably wouldn't have clashed today. The Scarborough starting 11 is Joe Cracknell at 1, 2, Kieran Wellergy, number 4, Lewis Maloney, number 6, Bailey Gunner. 7 is Michael Coulson, 8, Brian Watson, 10, Kieran Glynn, 11, Luca Coville, 15, Kieran Burton, number 17, Dom Tate, number 27, Alex Wild. So it's going to be a throw-in now to um, Connor Barrett, the um, wing-back. He's going to try and get in there, but Burton heads it away. He's trying to be brought back in there. It's going to be a shot there from Nick Houghton. Burton now gets the throw-in to Glynn, back to Burton, takes it down the line to Tier, back to Burton. Burton couldn't keep on his feet, but gets the ball to Wiles. Wiles to Maloney. Maloney now to Coville. Now over to Tier, I think it is now. Maloney, good bit of football here with Watson there on the right hand side, he tries to cut it in, brings it over to Coulson, Coulson edge of the area, now brings it onto the right hand side to Maloney, Scarborough now with a cross coming in, back pole, Burton, but it's going to be a goal kick there, lovely bit of football there by Scarborough, just didn't want to give the ball away at all, as the Scarborough fans just cheering on the um, home side, and uh, the goalkeeper's not doing the uh, goal kick there. It was actually uh, one of the defenders. So Wiles now gets the ball to Watson. Watson here on the right hand side now has a good run at eight. He's having a little look up. Gets another cross there, looking for on the back post. It goes for a shot. It was Kieran Glynn trying to get two and two there, but it um, was not enough power. So it has been um, all Scarborough at the moment. Uh, Maloney will have a strike at this. It's gone straight to the wall. Maloney still with the ball. Gets it to Watson. Watson in the space. He's going to shoot. No, he's going to get a deflection in corner there. Scarborough really ramping up the pressure on the visitors. Corner coming in. And it's now with Watson. Is he going to strike it? No, he's... Uh, Chicken out at last minute, it's now over to Coville. He now steps it over, little Croft turn. Cross coming in, he's gonna head her away. No, it's going back to him. Scarborough barely gonna. Oh, and a good save there by the keeper. Gonna be another corner for Scarborough. Scarborough really, it was barely gonna with the strike, I think. Coville. Coval now going to have another strike here at Willie Corner. It's not the greatest, but the last one wasn't. We nearly got a goal from that one. Coval now gets it back to Watson. Another high ball coming in. And um, it's now back to Maloney. Maloney going to have a shot. It's a goal! What a goal! Maloney with a thunderous strike. 1 0 to Scarborough. In the back of the net there from the Wizard, the magician, that is Maloney. What a goal there! 1-0 here to Flamingo Land Stadium to Scarborough Athletic. Maloney with another fantastic strike. Great goal. Maloney. Probably because there are some tall lads in there. OB. The uh, number 11, foul, and then uh, the Bird, who also uh, gets the goal and has fallen for him. The defender there, Obi, gets an equaliser. He didn't header it in, though, he kicked it in. But Fyle, um, I've pulled one back there from the uh, wonder strike from Maloney. It's now one all here.
So Scarborough kick off second time this afternoon. Back to Maloney from Glint. Long ball from Scarborough trying to get in that corner and Scarborough do get it. But the ball bounces in Files' favour after the second ball there. But a header there from Bailey Gooder. Another header there from Wilde. Files now do get back hold of the ball. But Coville now brings the ball forwards. He's over to Coulson on the left hand side. That experience we're probably lacking in the um, first half last week. Gets the ball to Maloney, has a strike. Oh, he's just. It just went through it too much. He's gone high. And uh, the ball's now with foul. Big uh, tall striker going through the middle. Gets it over to uh, Leginza. Leginza now a little step over into Scarborough's penalty area. Has a little another shimmy and he's going to have a shot. Now going on the uh, opposite side. Uh, over to um, Horton now to Bird. Bird now tries to bring the ball forwards and they're looking for another offside here, but the ball's been saved by Cracknell's knees here. a lot of tall men there for um, Files but the ball's come back off the wall there's going to be a header there for Whitmore but Cracknell gets down low saves the ball looking for Obi on the back post I think he's going to be the uh, main target for Files I can see uh, one of them running in into the near side uh, one of the subs but, oh, Scarborough trying to release McGuck in there but he's come back off a foul play it's now with Obi Already scored the equaliser. He's going for uh, an up and under, and it's now with foul, yeah. and it is a goal there. He's come in there as foul. There's um, Cracknell just couldn't get his hands around the ball there. And Scarborough after taking a lovely goal earlier with Maloney, and now behind. Oh. Goal at season for them. So uh, more fouls gets the second goal for file two one here. A last throw at the dice here. Maloney now sitting over the ball. Everyone comes forward. Ball's coming in, and it's uh, now fallen to Coulson. It's beaten away there, but it's now Greenfield. Greenfield. Oh, it's just got the ball taken off him by foul. Good work there by. Uh, the filed striker who um, looks to have got the winner so far and it's um, for, uh, there the whistle there the last minute and file have um, won here this afternoon you'd think they won the World Cup European Championships and the um, Milk Trophy but anyway file they've um, beat, beaten us 2-1 well you know me we we did beat them at theirs you know it's only fair that they beat them at ours but anyway it's uh, been a very good and interesting afternoon here again at Flamingo Land Stadium Thank you.